Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning my loves, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are interested in any personal consultations or any personalized spell work, you can find all of the links on the description box below. If you're interested in our manifestation or shadow book journals, you can find all of that as well in the link below. Let's get into it. I wanted to do this reading for you guys to see so we can look deep into what does your person feel about you. So we're going to begin here with Virgo as it is Virgo season. For those of you guys, for you Virgos out there, happy brightest of blessings to all of you. Let's get into it. Let's see what you guys can expect. Also, you guys stay tuned as we do have the podcast coming up for you guys, a new episode. It is called I Dated All 12 Zodiac Signs, so you don't have to. And I'm going to have a guest on there. We're going to be uh, chit-chatting and talking about what it is to date the signs. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to be giving you guys a lot of feedback. So uh, you guys stay tuned for that as well as many new episodes coming your way. I also have spell videos going up. I'm going to upload uh, Friday. So I'm trying to stay to Friday and Tuesday for you guys uh, for spell work. So if you guys are interested in spell work or learning about the practice, you guys stay tuned on Tuesdays and Fridays. I know I keep saying that, but I get so wrapped up with work and it's been crazy, you guys. So let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. All right. Let's begin here with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides. Send it, Master, Spirits of Donation. Please step forward. Allow me to see, hear, sense, and feel the messages that are coming through for Virgo. Let's see what the person of Virgo, how do they feel? Show us, reveal to us. Show us, reveal to us. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. I will continue to keep uploading tons of new readings for you guys, different uh, finances, career, love, all of that. So you guys stay tuned for that. All right, here we go, Virgo. Let's see how your person feels about you. All right, let's get into it. All right. All right, Virgo, so the bottom deck, we have the Four of Swords. Some of you guys may uh, not be currently in communication or communication hasn't been that great. Now, I am seeing here with the Strength card and the Two of Wands, um, the person that you're dealing with, Virgo, I feel like they're very, very close to their ego. Uh, this could be a person that is genuinely um, non-committal. This could be a person that's not really looking for any type of commitment or they have commitment issues. Uh, what I see here with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups, I feel like they haven't been completely honest with you in regards to their feelings for you. Um, especially with the nine of wands there, I feel like they're guarded. They're definitely guarded. And for some of you guys, if there has been, because we do have the four of swords here at the bottom. So for some of you guys, if you're currently in non-communication, I feel like this person has a tendency of putting their energy or effort towards other people. And primarily it has to do with the fact that that's the way they've, okay, I'm hearing that's the way they've survived. So for some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that has experienced heartbreak in the past and their way of guarding themselves is to not focus particularly in just one person because they don't want to get emotionally invested. That's exactly what's coming through for some of you guys. So um, I feel like the person that you are dealing with, th though they do have feelings for you with the Page of Cups here, I feel that the Seven of Swords, they're not being completely honest about their feelings for you and because we do have the three of cups here at the bottom um i feel like they either are feeling a bit insecure about you meaning that they feel like maybe you're dealing with someone else or if all of a sudden you started to notice that they started to pull away it's because they're putting their attention towards something else and it has more to do with like a defense mechanism kicking in so it has more to do with them, like like I said, I'm getting very much the vibe of someone that likes to multiple date only because they don't like to get emotionally invested in just one person. Like they're not emotionally available. That's, that's what I'm getting. Um, so I feel like in this situation, Virgo, my advice is just keep it pushing. Um, 
yeah, Page of Wands and the Devil card. Uh, a person that is just looking for physical connection. Uh, they're not really wanting or expecting uh, for this to progress. And again, I feel heavily that it has a lot to do with their fears or it has a lot to do with the fact that maybe you scared them, Virgo, honestly. Um, maybe this person hasn't felt that connection before or as strong because I do see that there is heavy, heavy physical connection here. So for some of you guys, it could be that they, like, you just have this, this energy about you that really draws them in. And I feel like the moment they, the moment that they felt that, it kind of triggered their insecurities and past traumas. So they started to pull away or they started to create distance or even putting their energy somewhere else because they don't want to, basically they don't want to fall for you, Virgo, is what I'm seeing. So you're definitely dealing with someone that is non-committal um, or that has commitment issues. All right, my loves, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Libra's person feel about them? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does the person feel about them? Let's see what's going on here with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Virgo. i sorry, Libra, Virgo. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Virgo. All right, here we go. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. All right, uh, Libra. I, I feel like this person, for some of you guys, uh, recent communication could have opened up or communication has been progressing a bit better. I, if you were dealing with like not being able to be on the same page, it could be perhaps because of Mercury retrograde. I feel like this person was initially guarded or there was almost a feeling like not being able to get on the same page. However, as time progresses, as the days go by, I feel this person being willing and wanting to fight for this connection because I see them standing up and wanting to bring to you some type of stability or some type of commitment. And there is definitely a uh, declaration here that's going to be happening for a lot of you guys, a declaration of love or a declaration of how do we, how do we fix it and move on from this? How do we progress towards more calmer waters, towards more stability? Um, for some of you guys, you could have been at a distance, maybe, oh, we have the three of swords here at the bottom. Um, so for some of you guys, there is distancing. Uh, for some of you, maybe there was a separation or some type of breakup temporarily. Um, I do see reconciliation. And again, like I said, I feel like, I feel like you guys were at odds. Um, not being able to communicate effectively or not being able to connect or get on the same page. However, like I said, they're showing me that they're going to, something within them is going to make them realize that they want to fight for this and they're coming to you to, like I said, it, it's giving me the energy of like a declaration of love. How do we move on from this? How do we fix it? How do we go towards something more stable? So I definitely do see that for you. Yeah. So I'm definitely seeing here with temperance and the empress um, healing. So again, if you guys are, or maybe for some of you guys, if you did go through some type of betrayal, um, I feel like the ball is going to be in your court. It's going to be really up to you what you decide. Um, but I feel like if you're hoping or wanting to fix this connection, there is definitely... Um, there's definitely the opportunity to do so because I do see, like I said here with the temperance and uh, empress, uh, healing and loving energy. So I, I feel like you guys probably hit a bit of a roadblock, but as time progresses, you'll be able to get on the same page and decide whether you guys want to move forward or not in this connection. I do see them maybe in the past, uh, they weren't fully in. Maybe they were like one foot in, one foot out. Um, but something recently happened for some of you guys. It could have been you with the three of swords here that decided to walk away. Um, and that kind of shook them. That kind of made them realize, you know what? 
Libra is not always going to be there waiting for me and it's like now or never. So I see them actually stepping up for you guys. Okay. So awesome there. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button and the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Give us clarity in regards to Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does their person feel about them? How does Scorpio's person feel about them? Well, let's see what's going on here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Scorpio's person feel about them? All right, here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Oh, we have the Tower Pluto energy. Oof. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Okay, so there's massive transformation happening in your love life right now, Scorpio. Um, and it's all about structure. So for some of you guys, it's realizing that the person you've been dealing with is, for some of you guys, <laughs> okay, so what I'm hearing is there is, massive transformation that is happening in your love life this is in every single aspect honestly um but when we're talking about love and romance i feel like the person that you're dealing with scorpio didn't realize really truly how deeply they are in love with you or how deeply they feel for you and this is a person that maybe is used to in the past um not sticking around so it's giving me hot and cold energy here with the seven of cups a person that has a tendency of coming in and coming out of your life but something recently happened where they're realizing they don't want to continue like having no structure do you get what i'm saying there is a, re a realization that's happening with them where they're coming to the understanding that it makes no sense to have feelings for Scorpio and to keep coming in and out um, when there's no substance that they're experiencing in other connections. And at this point, the reason why they run away is because they don't want to get hurt. But at the same time, it's like it doesn't make sense because they're still hurting the fact that you're either or recently stood your ground. So they're making the decision of letting go of other connections or walking away from other connections that are very superficial. And they're willing to come in and have a conversation with you. For some of you guys, it could represent that maybe you guys were kind of like on the physical connection. Uh, maybe it was something casual, um, but they're realizing for some of them, it could have been that jealousy was triggered here um, and it made them realize that they, that they want you and that they want to work something out with you, some type of agreement, some type of being on the same page. Um, they're they're really thinking heavy about commitment and the reason i say that here tower and ace of cups uh major upheaval in regards to their feelings for you with the ten of cups and the judgment they're making the decision they're they're pondering right now they're thinking but they will be making the decision of letting go of the noise and walking towards some type of higher stability. Could be Saturn energy here. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, could be that Capricorn if you have heavy Pisces placements. Um, it could be that Saturn energy that is kind of removing the illusions of what this person thought. Um, maybe thinking that you would always be there or that you would, you know, be okay with casualties. Um, for some of you guys it's that they are maybe it was you it's vice versa because it is a general reading but for some of you guys maybe you were a bit non-committal 
and or they felt that way and there is a decision that they're making where you know what we need to talk about it we need to address it is it just physical that you want or do you want commitment do you want a higher elevation of commitment because i see them deliberating in their head almost even replaying what they're going to tell you um but there is definitely some type of and for some of you guys this could be it could come as a surprise especially those of you guys that are dealing with someone that maybe it's casual or you thought it was casual or something like that it could be that out of the blue they confess that they have feelings for you and that they don't want you to have options meaning they don't want to give someone else the opportunity to sweep you off the feet off your feet um heavy because of the tower and the devil card here it's like let's cut to the bullshit let's cut to the chase what is it that you want scorpio let's figure it out and let's move forward because they're walking away from options for a lot of you guys you could have been dealing with someone that was like i said non-committal or you could have been dealing with someone that had multiple options but i feel like something recently happened in their life where they realized they want you so moving on let's see what's going on here with sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising venus how does sagittarius person feel about them how does sagittarius oh okay i'm gonna put them back how does sagittarius person feel about them give us clarity give me insight let's see sagittarius sun moon rising venus how does Sagittarius person feel about them? All right, here we go. All right, Sagis, let's see what's going on in your love life. All right. Ooh, interesting. Two majors. All right, so we're going to look at the bottom. We have the Ace of Swords. So there's incoming information or clarity that's coming in for a lot of you guys in regards to this connection. Now, for some of you guys, I feel like you could have been you could have been dealing with a situation where you felt they weren't being completely honest. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you could have recently found out that they were dealing with someone else or that they were in a relationship because um, it's giving me very much the vibe of being extremely secretive in your connection or relationship with them this could be you or this could be them um, but what i am seeing is a revelation of that so someone recently found out something about either they were dealing with someone else or they found out you were dealing with someone else um okay sagittarius i'm going to be honest with you guys what i'm seeing here is there is an end to this connection and i feel like for some of you guys you've refused to accept that but what they're showing me here is this is the universe stepping in and giving you the clarity so for those of you guys that recently found out that person was dealing with someone else it was no coincidence it's the universe pushing you towards your true path and it's not with this person now for others of you it's the revelation that the person you are dealing with is just non-committal and you're getting to a point at this point in time of realizing that what you want or what you expected for this connection is not it's not happening or it's not going to happen so again though it's difficult and painful to sometimes accept that you know we want a specific person and sometimes that person is just not right for us i feel like whatever's happening right now in this connection sagittarius take it as a blessing it's the universe doing you a solid and showing you or revealing to you truly who this person really is i see them like really sneaky I see them sneaky. I see them. It's giving me like fuck boy, fuck girl type of energy. Um, but the reason for this is it, it. If it recently came to a halt, it's because it's the universe showing you Sagittarius. You could do so much better, and you deserve so much better. And 
stop sacrificing yourself to make this person happy or to make it comfortable or, you know, keeping quiet what it is that you want because you're scared that they're going to walk away from you. Like, it's time you speak up. It's time you stand up for yourself and walk away from anything that is not worth saving. And at this point, it's kind of like, think of it as where you feel like you're being held back. It's just the universe. Think of yourself metaphorically as an arrow, which is fitting to Sagittarius, right? <laughs> um, as an arrow, you need to take a couple of steps back in order for the arrow to catch flight and get force. You know what I mean? To propel you towards the future, towards your destiny. So... I highly encourage you guys if you're currently going or feeling like you don't know what's going on in this connection, you're very much in your head, you're very much obsessing over the situation, my advice is let go Sagittarius, let go, stop holding on for dear life because this has come to an end. And the sooner you accept that, the quicker the universe is opening the path towards bringing to you the person that is worthy of you all right now for others of you the message that i'm getting very strongly is that stop telling yourself the same story over and over so what i mean by that is if you've experienced that most connections or mo most relationships you've been in for some of you, it, it hits like a roadblock and then you feel rejected or you feel like, like you're not enough or like you're asking for too much. That's exactly what you're going to continue getting because that's the, tor the story that you keep telling yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? With the world card here, like the world is your Sagittarius. You can make whatever it is that you want happen. You can receive and experience and have and feel whatever it is that you want, but it comes down to you believing that. With the five of pentacles here, stop believing that you have to beg someone to give you attention or that you have to beg them or that you have to prove yourself to them because you don't. And a person that is worthy of you is going to see your worth without you trying to show them what your worth is. All right? All right, my loves. It was very straightforward. I didn't even pull. Yeah, so, you know, five of cups and the lover's card. Uh, yeah, walk away from this connection, Sagittarius. You deserve better. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus. How does Capricorn's person feel about them? How does Capricorn's person feel about them? Capricorn, oh, okay, I'm gonna put them back, it's a lot. How does Capricorn's person feel about them? Let's see what's going on with Cappies. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Capricorn's person feel about them? All right, here we go, Cappy. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right. Oh. Holy smokes. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. We have someone opening up. We have someone in their feels about you, Capricorn. Now, what's jumping out to me is What's jumping out to me is a lot of momentum and a lot of movement is going to start to pick up in this connection. Now, with two pages, I feel like maybe communication wasn't the great, the greatest. Uh, could be Mercury retrograde that we that we just experienced, right? And we're still in the shadow face of it, but communication is going to get better. I feel like for some of you guys, you were dealing with a situation where you didn't know where this was going. Or it was kind of up in the air. And I feel like there is heavier communication that is going to pick up. But also, people are showing their vulnerable side. You could have been dealing with someone that perhaps was very ego-driven or very connected to their ego and pride. You could have been dealing with someone that maybe had multiple options. Or this person was seeing you and viewing you, Capricorn, as a person that has a lot of options. Now, 
either either side of the spectrum what i'm hearing is that put pressure in this connection so whether it's you or whether it's them that has or gets a lot of attention there was almost this recalibration that's happening right now in this connection where they if it's you that they feel like you get a lot of attention or like you have options or it they know that it's like time to step up or walk away and i see them stepping up with the four of wands it's like they're wanting to bring in commitment and they're wanting to move this connection and they move it towards a higher elevation of commitment in this connection and it comes through after having a deep conversation or after professing your true feelings for each other and the reason i say you is because we have two pages so i feel like someone was holding back in the past someone is going to allow themselves to be vulnerable with it whether this is you or whether this is them the moment that one allows themselves to be vulnerable the other one's guard comes down and they start to really open up and tell you that they want to pursue this connection that they want to stabilize it or make it official for some of you now like i said i do see that there was i feel like there was pressure put on here it could have been that they felt like someone was maybe getting your attention or maybe you felt like someone they were getting someone else or someone else was giving them attention um but they're deliberating they're deciding they're in their head right now but they're coming to you with a commitment they're coming to you with you know i want you in my life i want to take it to the next level um and I see them really watching everything you do, whether it's on social media, whether it's, you know, they're keeping a very close eye on you because they're scared and I feel like they feel pressured. They seem recently, they could have seen some side to you Capricorn that they didn't see before. So it could have been, again, they felt, I'm hearing they felt threatened. So it could be that they felt like you had options. It could be that you're getting a lot of attention or some, maybe you weren't as receptive to their messages and communication as you were at some point. And they're wondering what the hell's going on with Capricorn? Why aren't they communicating as quickly? Why aren't they texting me back as quickly? Like, are, is there something else going on in their life? And I feel that that pressure like kind of bubbled up to the top to the point where they can't take it no more and they feel like the only way that we can push forward is if we fully express our feelings and that's exactly what i'm seeing here justice and the nine of swords yeah they're making the decision they're deliberating and they're gonna want to bring balance to this connection the only way that this connection can progress is take it to the next level and i see them taking it to the next level capricorn all right, my loves, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with, who's next, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. How does Aquarius person feel about them? How does Aquarius person feel about them? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like the videos, don't forget to hit that like button, the notification bell, so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Let's see what is going on with my Aquarians. How does Aquarius person feel about them? Here we go. Aquarius, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> what is up with this? I, I keep seeing this. Could be the Mercury retrograde that was happening. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Someone is looking towards your direction. Um, They're missing you. They're missing you, Aquarius. They have you heavy on their mind. You could be dealing with a water energy. You could also be dealing with a fire energy. Now, for those of you 
that felt like you don't know exactly where you stand in this connection the reason why you feel that way like it's not in your head and you're not crazy they do feel they do have feelings for you but i feel that this person struggles with opening up and they've tried to keep their feelings from you hidden so this could be a person that is used to either being chased or is used to others professing their love for them before they fully open up. Um, but what I'm seeing here is, I, and I wanna say for some of you guys, you could have noticed like a switch or some type of change happen um, with your person, like since the last full moon. And the reason for that is because there was a revelation of them understanding that they do have feelings for you. And it became so strong that it's become a burden to them. Like it's be like I I'm hearing like what's the point of these mind games? Like I'm, you know, I've been trying the best I can to either protect myself or protect my heart. Um, but it's put me, it's put them in a position where maybe you gave them the cold shoulder, Aquarius. Or for some of you guys, maybe you stopped texting them or communicating with them. For others of you, you just pulled your energy back, and they've noticed that. And they're very much in their head about how do I move forward? How do I communicate with Aquarius? And I do see them wanting to communicate, but they're still holding back. Uh, however, I feel like in the next coming days, they're going to be deciding that they want to come towards you and that they don't want to bring an ending to this connection. Uh, Ten of Swords with the Chariot card here. Um, I feel like the Ten of Swords is giving me very much the reverse position. So they're not willing to walk away from this connection just yet. Uh, if you recently blocked them or if you recently pulled away, I feel like they've definitely, they took that to heart. Maybe they at some point took you for granted. Um, and I feel like the not having access to you or the not knowing what's going on in your life or the you not being so receptive to them has them in their head about it and it's become a burden to the point where they literally constantly think of you and they're constantly like texting or writing something down and before they hit that button send they delete it uh and then they they do that throughout the day so i feel like there is a momentum that's picking up here for you guys in regards to this connection where they are going to allow themselves to be vulnerable and open up to you. And I do see them professing feelings for you, or I do see an apology coming for some of you, okay? All right, Aquarius, there you go. All right, let's move on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Pisces person feel about them? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Pisces person feel about them? Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Pisces person feel about them? One more shuffle, thank you. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. All right. Interesting. Second time we get the Ace of Swords with the Moon. <clears throat> huh. Pisces, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Taurus. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with an Aquarius because some of the cards came out. Um... I see Cancer, I see Fire energy here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, I see Cancer, I see uh, Capricorn, um, Capricorn Sun. All right, so what I'm seeing here uh, for you, Pisces, is there is someone that, that you've been dealing with that maybe they gave you the impression that they weren't looking for anything serious. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was something casual. Um, what I'm seeing here is this is very interesting because what I'm getting is you're dealing with someone Pisces, you're dealing with someone that 
they were more into the casual connections. This is a person that was definitely not committed, focused. This is a person that's non-committal. That wasn't, I should say. Um, but I feel like recently you guys could have had some type of situation where maybe, and if you guys connect with this, this is definitely your storyline, right? Um, something in them was triggered and they gave you some type of sign of jealousy or like becoming a little bit like possessive. Uh, and it was like almost a glimpse of it and they kind of held back. Um, the reason for this is because they have feelings for you. They have feelings for you, uh, Pisces, and they're deliberating if they should, if they should open up because I feel like they're waiting for you to be the one to open up. So, okay, I'm getting different storylines. Let's slow down for a bit. Give me one second. Okay, so... For some of you, Pisces, if you're dealing with the person that was purely physical or something casual uh, and they recently made some snarky remark or some type of comment that came off as like, are you jealous? Like, what's going on? Uh, and then they retracted, meaning that they either pulled back their energy or just stopped communication. It's because they were in their feelings. And the fact that you probably made a joke about it or they were expecting for you to like be like oh like to open up and tell them that you have feelings they got very guarded and they pulled their energy back out of like being scared basically because they were scared you were going to reject them or that you were going to be like no i'm just looking for something casual um but i feel like they've become so overburdened with the fact that they want to possess you they want to be with you they want to show you uh, to the world like this is my girl this is my guy um, and for some of you guys there may be lack of communication but I see communication picking up in the next couple of days for some of you guys if you haven't heard or there's no contact from them you'll be hearing from them in the next couple of days and I feel that the reason why they're communicating is because yes they want to be with you but at the same time it, their shadow side is being triggered and they don't want nobody else to have the opportunity to get you basically um now for others of you what i'm seeing here is someone wasn't being completely honest to you uh in regards to them being in another relationship or another connection now this is going to reign true to those of you that let's say the connection was hot and heavy and you guys would you know spend a lot of time together you guys would talk and communicate throughout the day and all of a sudden they started pulling back pulling back pulling back you haven't heard from them or they could have purposely blocked you on social media um the reason for this is because you were dealing with the person that has kept a relationship hidden so it could have been a situation where they were uncertain maybe there was a temporary break there um but they reconciled and that's the reason why they pulled away or that's the reason why they're not communicating with you however i do see them communicating again my advice in that situation and for those of you guys that this is re resonating i want you, even if you're not aware that this person is dealing with someone else but the communication all of a sudden stopped and you got blocked all right this is specifically for those that got blocked <laughs> whether it's through text or whether it's on social media it's because this person reconciled i do see them coming back around but just keep in mind that this is a person that is going to keep playing the victim role meaning like um they come back around to see if you would embrace them again my advice is walk away from this okay all right pisces moving on Let's see what's going on with Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries. How does Aries person feel about them? Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is their person feeling about them? How does Aries person feel about them? Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is their person feeling about them? How does their person feel about Aries? All right, here we go. 
let's see what's going on here with Aries. All right, Aries, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Seven of Cups, Judgment. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, Four of Wands. Okay. So, Aries, I see... I see your person feeling extremely frustrated because they don't see this progressing or they feel like you're not reciprocating their energy, their attention, or their effort. And for some of you, you could be dealing with the situation where I feel like you guys are marrying the fuck out of each other. What I mean by that is both of you guys want commitment or both of you guys feel the same way towards each other, but you guys are holding back. And in the holding back, in the not saying or not expressing, you guys are playing the guessing game and you guys are both guessing fucking wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Five of Pentacles, sorry, Five of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. There is a feeling of being let down because you're trying to progress this. You're trying to move forward. Emperor, you're trying to bring some type of stability. I get it. For some of you guys, maybe this connection started off very non-conventional. So, and with the Seven of Pentacles, could, could for some of you guys, you could be dealing with, you could have been dealing with this person for quite a while. Um... But there is a lack of stability, but I don't feel like lack of stability in regards to like the normal shit. I mean, the lack of stability in doing, th I feel like for some of you guys, you did things the opposite of how it usually is. So, you know, it's like getting to know someone, the talking stage, and then the dating stage, and then the commitment, and then the physicality. I feel like for some of you guys, it started off as physical. Um... And it's like, you guys don't know what to do. Like, I feel both of, and especially because we have a lot of pentacles here, you guys. This is talking to me a lot about both of you guys being on the same page, right? Both of you guys being on the same page. Both of you guys wanting or desiring the same thing, which is stability and some type of label. But you guys are in your head. You guys are in your head too much to the point where it's like, I'm hearing it's a guessing game. It's like both of you guys are trying to guess each other's silence and someone's getting tired. It's either you, Aries, or it's the person that you're dealing with that is like, you know what? I'm done with these fucking games and I'm walking away from this. Um... There is a decision that is being made. There is a decision that's being deliberated right now where they're feeling frustrated or it could be you, Aries, that you're feeling frustrated because there's you don't see it moving towards the direction you want. But I feel because there's lack of communication. You guys are just guessing each other's actions, words. Like You guys say so little when you guys want to say so much. And it's made this energy of feeling like you're dealing with someone else or they're feeling or you're feeling, excuse me, like they're dealing with someone else. Um, they could have and you could have dealt with other people in the past. But I feel like you guys both got to a place. Maybe you guys were spending a lot of time together. Maybe, maybe you guys were being around each other more often. And, and something happened where the dynamic changed and when it changed, it almost feels like both of you guys picked up on that energy. And it's like you don't know how to move it forward. It's it's this awkward energy that I'm sensing. It's like the best way of describe it's so frustrating. You guys have so much in my head right now. It's so frustrating because it's almost like you guys are wanting. You guys are wanting old school and maybe it started very unconventional. But it's like you guys don't know how to get out of that unconventionality because now you want something conventional, if that makes sense. Um, and again, there's a decision that's going to be made. So if this is you, Aries, that, you know, if you know that your person is 
kind of like still communicating with you, still dealing with you, maybe it's time you open up. Maybe it's time like for once, just be straightforward. And I know Aries don't have a problem with this. Again, it could be Mercury retrograde. It could be Chiron in your sign where there's a lot of healing that's happening for you, Aries, but I feel like you guys are holding back. And what they're showing me here is both of you guys are wanting and desiring the same thing, yet it goes unnoticed or it goes and it stays in the silence. And you guys are just like trying to one up each other to try to figure out each other when in reality you guys are wanting the same thing. Does that make sense? With the Hermit and the Queen of Wands, it is about being decisive and taking action. What is it that you want? Do you want this to be something stable? Then it's time you speak up. If it's something casual or it's something casual or something just purely physical, but you have feelings, it's time for you to speak up, Aries, and be like, you know what? I do have feelings for you. And do you, do you feel the same way? And if you don't, then let's put an end to this and go our own separate ways but I feel like by you doing that you're allowing the person to fully be open or feel safe enough to be vulnerable um, because again I feel like you both are just struggling with communicating and opening up and the thing is that your mind takes the best out of both of you meaning you guys start to create these narratives in your mind and that's what creates all the confusion so Good luck with that, Aries. This is confusing as how you guys is frustrating energy. What the hell is going on with Aries? <laughs> you guys have been dealing with some weird readings lately. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Taurus person feel about them? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does Taurus person feel about them? Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does their person feel about them? All right, thank you, Spirit. Here we go. Taurus, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Hanged Man. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, Page of Cups. Queen of Wands, Judgment, King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. So, Taurus, what I'm seeing here is, for some of you guys, oh, this is heavy energy, okay. Heavy with the Four of Swords and the Hanked Man, because I feel like right now, your person is internalizing a lot of what has transpired or what has happened in the past couple of weeks. Um, there is like a decision to be made for some of you guys. You could have been, you could have been dealing with someone that was dealing with another person. Um, I feel like they're taking action with this King of Wands here. They're taking action towards you. Um, for some of you guys, if there hasn't been any communication, they will be communicating with you. But what I'm seeing here is, you're dealing with the person that could have been dealing with multiple options or could have been putting their energy and effort towards other things or other people. Um, especially because we have the Queen of Wands here. But what I'm seeing is they're, I don't know, this is weird because they're like internalizing. This is going to sound horrible, Taurus, but what I'm, what I'm hearing is there's almost like a comparison. So, and I say it sounds horrible because I feel like they're comparing you to someone else. So something could have recently transpired where you felt like this person either was dealing with someone else or they had options or you could have been dealing with someone that recently came out of a relationship and they were like, I'm so over my ex, I'm done with that, I'm you know, ready to start something new, but they weren't. They weren't ready to start something new. And I feel like the moment that ex or that person that they were dealing with in the past popped back up again, they started communicating with them. 
And the reason for this is because they're still hopeful and they're still wanting for some type of reconciliation. So again, I feel like you're dealing with the person that's not over the ex. They're not over. Yeah, we have two queens here, you guys. Um, they're still holding out for the person from the past. So if you if you felt like things were going good and then all of a sudden they stopped or all of a sudden communication stopped or all of a sudden they started talking about being busy, it's not. What really happened was that they thought they were ready to move on. Not necessarily, but they try to convince themselves. It's kind of, What I'm hearing is like um, in Spanish, we have the saying when you break up or get out of a relationship, it's the saying that goes, un clavo saca otro clavo, which is like one nail <laughs> takes another nail or something like that. I don't know. Um, but anyways, what that means is like you, you can't get over someone until you, oh, I think there's an English shame. You get over someone by being under someone type of thing. And I feel like you were dealing with someone that could have potentially wanted to move on, right? They connected with you. They felt the connection. There's a lot of physical connection there, but they weren't fully over. And the moment the ex popped back up again, they were like, let's go. Like they, they're hoping and wanting for that reconciliation to happen. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, and then because we have two queens here, they were definitely dealing with someone from the past, someone that probably hurt them, and that's the reason why they can't move on from them. Um, my advice is, even if you don't know about this person that they're dealing with or that they recently started talking to, don't be surprised if in the next coming days you find out or you hear that they are in fact talking to the ex or that the ex is coming back around. And the reason is because they were actually like looking for a placeholder, hoping that the person they are still emotionally invested in would come back around. So my advice is if you're dealing with this Taurus, just keep it pushing. Um, it's not a person that is fully moved on and you never, and I know I don't, I don't need to tell my Taurus this, right? But never allow someone to choose or to think that they can put you in a position of having to choose between two people. Like, fuck that. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does a Gemini's person feel about them? How does Gemini's person feel about them? Let's see what's going on with Gemini. How does Gemini's person feel about them? If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. How does Gemini's person feel about them? All right, here we go. Gemini, let's see how your person feels about you. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Empress. Oof, holy smokes. Four of Pentacles, the Empress, the Lovers, the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Jesus, the Wheel, King of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay. Gemini, someone is ready and willing to fight for you. What I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that was very emotionally non-committal or emotionally not available. Um, but they came to the realization or they experienced someone else being interested in you um where it made them want to chase you or it made them want to have you now i know it's not ideal but because you do have major arcanas here the empress the lovers a lot of physical connection a lot of love here heavy ass love ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune it's this situation is going to completely turn around so it's going to turn around for the better why because we have the nine of cups here so the nine of cups is indicating to me wish fulfillment happiness because they're willing to put their pride aside to fight for you so if you were dealing with the situation again where you felt like the person was non-committal or like the person was halfway in halfway out or they weren't really giving you like you weren't seeing the relationship pick up or take flight, that's going to change. And it's going to quickly change around. 
keep in mind, Gemini's, a lot of you guys, obviously, you're ruled by Mercury. We had Mercury in retrograde, and that show was fucking everybody up. But honestly, for obviously Gemini's and Virgos, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, it affected you greatly. So it could have been miscommunication that was happening here um that put you like in a position of feeling like they weren't taking you seriously or like they weren't necessarily looking for something structured or something committal or some type of commitment excuse me so you could have felt a bit guarded or your guard or you could have even given them the cold shoulder but what i'm seeing here is that this situation is going to quickly turn around because they're willing and wanting to fight for this connection and they're also going to be, I'm hearing for some of you guys, they're also going to be calling you out on your bullshit on some things. Um, so it could be like, again, if you recently gave them the cold shoulder or you recently started to like kind of show them that, you know what, if if, if you're not going to want this or you're not going to want to fight for this, I'm going to keep it pushing. They're like, no, the fuck you're not. Like, you feel the same way I feel. Like, let's work it out. Let's get on the same page. Let's figure it out and let's work through it. Um, because I feel them knowing or feeling that you're guarded and at the same time they understand that there was some type of miscommunication some type of like egos being in the way and egos getting the best of you they're willing to step down from their ego and try to meet you halfway and what i mean by halfway is like not necessarily that you're gonna I, I i see them coming towards you um but what i'm saying is in regards to like pride and ego they're coming in and they're coming in hot and they're willing to fight for this connection definitely here yeah uh eight of wands and the ten of wands they can't take it no more they can't take it they're wanting to you know communicate they're wanting to come in hot and be like you know what this is what it is and let's stop complicating shit let's move forward how do we work it out and let's make it happen uh, especially because they feel a very strong and deep connection with you gemini now one thing i'm also getting a, a different storyline for some of you guys if you were dealing with the next partner that you were hoping or wanting to fix something and you started dealing with someone they're coming in and they're willing to fight for you because they know that you have options now if that's your case that's your scenario you're connecting with that keep it pushing because why the fuck are you coming back around when now you see that i'm wanted somewhere else like no we don't do that we're not no placeholders for no one all right gemini <laughs> all right moving on let's see what's going on with cancer cancer sun moon rising venus how does uh cancer's person feel about them Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how Cancer's person feels about them. Cancer, Sun, oh. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how your person feels about you. How does Cancer's person feel about them? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right. All right, we have the Three of Pentacles. Strength card, Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, The Hermit, The Hierophant, The Ace of Swords. Interesting. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the full card. All right, so what I'm seeing, Cancer, is someone's been a bit foolish with your heart uh they probably felt like you would either put up with certain things or maybe they were testing you wanting to test you uh, and you could have recently stood up to them or you could have recently like chin checked them or you could have recently like been about you know what fuck this and kept it pushing kept it moving um, but I see them coming back around. They're finding the strength and the courage to come at you and to come at you correctly. Um, there was a bit of disappointment in this connection in the past. It could have been that you were hoping that they could have proven something or proven themselves to you. Um, and though they didn't, or they could have been very much in their head about it, you could have recently either pulled back from them 
or you could have just chosen, you know what, at this point, I'm better off just being single. So something recently changed in the dynamic where now I see them being willing to fight for this connection. And they're coming towards you to try to solidify this connection, to try to make some type of working out agreement, some type of like slapping a label on this relationship. They're realizing that they don't want you to be single no more or that they don't want to be single no more. Um, and for some of you guys, uh, it could be that recently you you could have recently started talking to someone new. Um, but you were still feeling kind of sour in regards to this connection. Um, for others of you, it could have been them. It could have been them that maybe they were dealing with someone else. But they've realized or something changed in this dynamic where they're realizing that they want to be with you. They don't, they no longer want to be single or they no longer want to be playing, you know, the field. And they're realizing and they're seeing the value and the worth in you and they're coming at you correctly. You know what I'm hearing is for a lot of you cancers, I hear that they had to experience some type of rejection. So it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be in their career. It could be in their family dynamics. Something recently humbled them. Something recently humbled them that made them realize that, they're, that you're probably out of their league. Or something happened that made them see themselves in the mirror and check themselves. And they're realizing, you know what? cancer is who I want and I don't I no longer want to continue playing the field I no longer want to keep playing these mind games I no longer want to you know just stay on the physical connection for some of you guys I want commitment I want to get out of this energy of unsatisfied superficial connections and it's almost like they're internalizing because I'm hearing, I'm he literally hearing them say, I don't want to be single. I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to keep connecting on a superficial level. For some of you guys, it could be that this person was started dealing with someone else and they realized that they either just used them or that it was just something temporary and it made them like humble like it humbled them and made them feel used maybe even and they're realizing like this this is kind of how i've been treating cancer like how blind can i be when what i'm seeking cancer possesses this this is who cancer is and that's what's making them step up that's what's making them um come at you correctly and with the Justice card and Temperance giving you the opportunity to either heal from that and to rebuild or start rebuilding on a solid foundation. Or for others of you, it's giving you basically putting the ball in your court and you having to make the one or the decision, do you want to continue working through this or are you walking away and finally feeling like you've been vindicated? either spectrum you will be vindicated okay all right cancer let's see what's going on with leo all right let's see what's going on with leo sun moon rising venus how does their person feel about them if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in any personal readings or any personal spell work or any of our shadow book uh, or shadow journals, I should say, and the manifestation books or journals, you can find all of that on this description uh, description box below or link, I should say. Give me one second, you guys. I dropped. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to put it back in. Here we go. Leo, let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does their person feel about Leo? Okay, we got cards flying out. We have a Seven of Cups here. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here you go. If you guys don't follow me on my other social medias, I encourage you to do so. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I'm very proactive on there, especially Snapchat. I've created a 
community where we're always clouding on each other. Every time you guys comment, I repost so others can see your responses as well as your questions. And I do answer your questions on there as well. All right, Leo, we have the seven of cups. We have the three of cups. We have the six of cups. Oof, chariot. High Priestess, the Hanged Man, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, ooh, okay, Page of Wands, and the Strength card. Okay, Leo, bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm just going to flip it just to concentrate on this right here. Okay, so right at the center, Leo, what I'm seeing is your person doesn't know what the fuck they want. They're confused. At the center, we have the Hanged Man, which is Piscean energy. It could be that Pisces is heavy in their birth chart. Uh, we do have Saturn there. We have... Uh, yeah, it's almost like they're uncertain about what it is that they want. And I'm going to be honest with you. They know that they have feelings for you, Leo. They do have feelings for you. They do know that there is a connection, whether they try to ignore it they're aware they're fully aware that there's a connection there however i feel like recently this person could have either had some type of glow up or recently they started to get more notoriety or more attention that it kind of went to their head and it's almost like and i'm gonna be honest what i'm hearing is you you were the domino effect meaning you're probably out of their league and the moment that connection happened or the moment other people started seeing that you had that connection with them it was like oh well if leo is interested in them it must mean that they're special no honey you were the one that made them special and this is a person that's not used to this type of attention so that has put them in a position where i see like their head is big they got a big head or they are really liking the attention and that's the reason why they've been cold and they've been distant. Now, I see them really trying to figure out if they're wanting to give you the commitment that they know you want or if they're ready to even settle down. I'm going to be honest, I don't see them being ready. I mean, if you easily get distracted by getting attention just because you never get attention, you Leos out there know what I'm talking about because you're used to getting attention, right? It's not a big thing. <laughs> you guys are naturally, you're ruled by the sun. You naturally shine wherever you go. Um, but other people are not used to that. However, does that give them the right to become arrogant, to be nasty, to be detached and make you feel like you're an option. Cause I see this person purposely making you feel like you're an option or like you're less than them. And it's because they're trying to make you question your confidence. And what I'm seeing here is no, there's no question that you are out of their league, that you deserve better. So if they're breadcrumbing you, if they're giving you hot and cold type of energy, walk away from that because this is a person that is not used to attention. They've been getting attention and it's made their head get big. And all of a sudden they think that they have options when little do they know you were born with options, Leo. So again, I, I see them trying to figure it out, but why they figure it out, they're also kind of leading you on. So my advice is walk away from this because, you know, with the Ace of Swords and the Empress, it's understanding or coming to the realization that you are the Empress or the Emperor, that you are, you know, a bag, uh, what is it, a, a bag of chips? <laughs> I don't know how that shit goes, but you get what I'm saying, that you possess all the qualities that they look for in a partner, but they couldn't appreciate that. So keep it pushing, go towards what you are deserving of Leo, because I feel like this person doesn't know what the fuck they want and they're not going to give you any type of commitment, at least not anytime soon, my loves. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned for many more readings as well as the September readings as well as the podcast. 
Uh, a lot of interesting things are happening. Uh, I'm going to be uploading tomorrow, Friday, a uh, spell video for you guys. And I'm going to try to fall into Tuesday or Fridays for spell work the rest of the week for readings and probably uploading on a Saturday or Sunday for the podcast. So I'm going to try the best I can. I know I keep telling you guys, <laughs> I keep telling you guys that, but I'm really going to try. Okay. All right. Well, till then, I'll see you guys. Bye.